Over the past few months, you guys have seen us go all over Alaska. We've been all over the map at this point. You saw us make the trek all the way up to the Arctic Circle. You've seen us almost die freezing our butts off in negative 15 degrees. We've seen the northern lights. We've been zigzagging all over the state in Poe. And then last episode, you guys saw us rent a luxury van, which we are still in, by the way. But we went from Anchorage to Seward. And now it is finally time for us to go to the last place in Alaska we have not been. What is the furthest south you can go? Today we are going to the end of the road. Homer, Alaska in 20 miles. That is what they call the end of the road here in Alaska. And it's just, it's one of those things that we have to do to say that we did it because I feel like it's only right seeing as we went up to the Arctic Circle. You can't go that far north and not go all the way south. You know what I mean? What is there to do in Homer? I don't know. We're going to find out. There's a couple of things I've been told by locals that are super cool. We're going to try to check out. The sun is also setting because it's Alaska and it's middle of winter and we have like an hour and a half of daylight. Okay, I'm being dramatic, but really I think we only end up with like four hours or something like that. So to Homer we go. I have a feeling that we're gonna make it to Homer just in time for sunset on the spit, but I also have a feeling that's gonna be okay because I'm getting glimpses of it as I drive. It looks insane. We're on the coast right now. Like, are you joking? This is insane. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to like actually see the sun again. What? I love Alaska. Do you love Alaska, buddy? Oh, okay. All right, I'll, I want to get to the spit before the sun sets. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. We gotta go, we gotta go. quick. Excuse me. Come on, we gotta go. Halibut fishing capital of the world. Huh. The more you know. Maybe I should get halibut tonight instead of cooking. I don't know, bub. This is a joke. Wait, you gotta get a picture of you. Here's the most beautiful subject.
<laughs> we've seen so much of Alaska and it's all been so gorgeous, but this is definitely the top. Like top tier, top moment. This is nuts. Just when you think Alaska can't get any more insane, it just does every time. This is like heaven. Touch the ocean, bud. Touch the ocean! You guys ever get like pre-emotional for something like i'm just thinking about this memory that i'm in right now and how this is like so sad and morbid but it's just like what i'm thinking like this is so stunning and so once in a lifetime i feel personally some people might be like you could go to homer and see a sunset anytime but i just know someday when blue is gone i'm gonna like look back on right now and just you know what i mean okay i'll stop ew i'm gonna cry i just love my dog and i love what i do and I love Homer, so. Hey, let's not just like wreck our teeth, maybe? Yeah, let's not chew on the rock. Oh, oh, oh. Stunning. Those mascots are out tonight. What's up, guys? and a bunch of people are kind of parked for the night, so works for me. Although I am gonna head into town and go to the Fat Olive because that is the restaurant that every local told me to go to while in Homer and I feel like we're only in Homer for a few hours, so. Let's go to the Fat Olive. back Pepper Lou. I'll be back in the Jeff. Yeah. Kids on, you've got water. Love you. Can I just sit at the bar? Good, how are you? See why this is like the halibut fishing capital. I get why it's good fish here, you know? They live up to their name. Oh, I know, puppy. All right, back to that campsite. Blue needs dinner, look at him. Yeah. Boy. Come on, kid. It's gonna be an early night for us because we have a really early morning. I didn't 
Excuse me. Come. Up. Get up. Up. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's such a rough life. <laughs> Constant belly rubs needed. We have a lot of distance to cover to get back up north. I didn't realize that Homer is so gorgeous. And my dad is going to kill me for saying that because when my brother and dad flew out here to visit me, we almost came here to Homer. And I was the one that was like, guys, let's not. It's too far of a drive from like where we were. It's not worth it. Let's just go back. And my dad really, really wanted to go. And I was like, ah, what's in Homer, dad? And now it's like the single most beautiful place I've been in Alaska. <laughs> so, sorry, dad. <laughs> it's all good though. I'm just going to have to come back with Poe. Not a big deal. It's actually probably exactly where I'm going to come right back to because, wow. I just want to spend some time down here. Anyways, we'll see you guys in a few hours. We're going to hit the hay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You are so cute, Blue. Oh, my gosh. You're the cutest dog ever to live. Do you know that? No pressure. Yeah. Coffee is needed immediately. of my favorite coffee. I made this so weak. That's unfortunate. We gotta hit the road. It's time to go pick up Poe. Alright, you ready to go with me, bub? Go boy. It's gonna take us like five hours to get up to Anchorage. Probably more realistically like six with stops. I'm a zombie right now. Why did I make my coffee so weak? <laughs> Let's hit the road. Oh man, it's snowing. Hello, Pepperlean. Excuse me. <laughs> I got something stronger. Back on the road we go. Excuse me, sir. Get in your captain's chair. I need my co-pilot ready to go. Hop up. Go. Hop up. Good boy. Thank you. Oh, blue. 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 
I think Bubby thinks that I'm in his seat since he's used to me being on the right side. He's like, excuse me, if you actually kick it out of my seat, that'd be great. <laughs> you are so cute. Okay, you gotta back up. You gotta back up. Go to your own seat. Good boy. It is time to clean, organize, return the van. Almost time to get Paul, Bubby. Let's go pick up Poe. I'm gonna miss sleeping in this van. It's like the best sleep I've ever had. I'm so excited to be back in Poe. You guys have no idea. Listen, van life was awesome. That thing was luxury as heck. I'm really gonna miss that bed, but there's nothing like being in your own rig, especially when you just paid so much money to have some pretty sick upgrades installed to make winter easier. You know what I mean? I know you want to know what these upgrades are, and I'm so excited to tell you that it's a deal.